16 years old Miss Peace Oluashei Oladosu has made history by becoming the youngest person to have served as a member of the House of Antonia Dekoju, the lawmaker representing Ibarpa Central, Ibarpa North constituency of Oyo State. Honorable Oluwatoin arrived at Abuja through the Namdi Azikiw International Airport alongside her proud parents where they were driven down to the National Assembly to pay cuts of visit to the Speaker of the House of Representatives, retired Honorable Tajidina Bass, who honoured the one-day lawmaker. The young Honorable Peace Oladosu was then led to the office of Honorable Adekwaju on the third floor of the House of Representatives where she performed her first assignment as a federal lawmaker representing Ibarapa Central, Ibarapa North, federal constituency of Oyo State. The Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin read the citation during plenary to which the Honorable responded with her vision and mission for members of her constituency. Initiative, a unique product of a Barapa Central and North for that constituency is geared at engaging young minds, fostering future legislators from the federal constituency, inspiring children to succeed regardless of their social economic background, incorporating youth driven initiatives previously overlooked, and producing intellectually minded future leaders for the development of the constituency. The initiative also seeks to improve the standard of education in uh, Ibarapa Central and Ibarapa North Federal Constituency. The Without delving too much into needless rhetoric, my utmost desire at the time of winning this competition is to exert its influence on speaking for my thousands of students back at home in Igbora, Idere, Aete, Tapa, and Igogo, the five principal communities that make up Ibarapa Central and North Federal constituency of Oyo State. Growing up in a community with an epithetic power supply and power mobile network coverage is frustrating. Learning outside of classrooms like exploring the internet for sufficient knowledge acquisition is almost impossible and this is a nightmare faced by many of us in that community, thus limiting the academic excellence of students in the constituency. As I speak, there is no place to register for the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination UTME in Ibarapa Central and North Federal constituency, which five communities produces about 6,500 applicants annually for the exercise. I believe that constructing the ICT center as requested will not only reduce the stress of traveling through kilometers for the UTME registration, but we also add seamless mobile network coverage that will significantly add the note making strength of the students in the Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.